Hey guys, my name is David Green and welcome back to episode 8 of Supernatural Archives, a show where I tell you scary stories for fun. I know I said last time that the next episode would be about the Slender Man, but I think it would be better if we space it out. For today, I'll be bringing you a story about a newer figure, but one of the most popular out there, Cartoon Cat. Created by horror guru Ter Trevor Henderson, the terrifying creature combines the immortality of someone like Bugs Bunny with the sadistic nature of someone like the Joker. Now just sit back, relax, cut the lights, and lock the doors, cuz... It's story time. In a small part of Arkansas, there was a small city. And in that city were three friends who had a relatively popular exploration channel on YouTube. Alex the cameraman, Lucy the adventurer, and Michael, the fearless leader of the group. They loved exploring haunted houses, creepy schools, and every place that would make your hair stand up on end. They realized that they only had one place left to explore. They abandoned Mall. Nightfall came and they decided to make the trip over. When they arrived to the mall, something seemed a little different. All the places they've gone to before never had a presence like this place had. Like something about this place was making their instincts tell them to turn back. Michael said they were already here, so there's no turning back now, and crawled through the boarded up doors. Alex and Lucy followed close behind as they stepped into the darkness. They turned on their flashlights and looked around. They saw all the boarded up shops that used to be packed all day wither away in place. They ventured deeper into the mall. As they went deeper, the walls and shops started looking more battered and vandalized. Broken glass, graffiti, and a fountain filled with garbage. Alex was getting the footage for their channel on his camera when he noticed a dark figure out of the corner of the screen. He went to look himself, but the figure was gone. He brushed it off as his mind playing games on him and stayed quiet. As they continued to go deeper, they came across their destination, the ice cream parlor all the way at the back of the mall. Their objective was to get footage of this parlor and then make their way out. They carefully crawled inside to avoid the glass and Alex got the footage they needed. But as they went to head back, music started playing over the speakers. They caught all of them off guard as they were told all power to the building was cut off years ago. They started to get anxious about the sudden noise but managed to climb out of the parlor. However, once they were out and started walking back, Lucy tripped and fell over something. When the others helped her up and looked to see what she had tripped over, everyone froze in place. A long black arm stretched like a snake and tipped with a white glove lay on the floor, unmoving. As they stared in disbelief, the arm started to retract, weaving like a rope until it went behind a corner. Not long after, a large black figure emerged from the corner and looked at the group. A tall, seven-foot black cat. He seemed to be like from a cartoon, but something was definitely wrong. He had soulless eyes and a large, wicked smile stretching from shoulder to shoulder. The group's flashlights did little to illuminate the figure as his body seemed to absorb the light itself. Cartoon Cat. The group went to take a step back when they all fell to the floor. All at once, Cartoon Cat manifested multiple arms and grabbed a hold of the group, all while laughing to himself. The group managed to kick off the arms and get on their feet. They sprinted towards the exit, now with Cartoon Cat in tow. The music got louder and Cartoon Cat began laughing louder as well. Once they reached the fountain, Cartoon Cat launched one of his arms forward and grabbed Michael. Before he had a chance to react, he was thrust up into the air and slammed onto the ground with a resounding thud. Alex and Luke, Lucy looked back in horror as one of their closest friends was gone in an instant. Before they could fully register what just happened, Cartoon Cat looked at them, his eyes seeming to burn through their heads. The chase resumed. Their lungs almost collapsed, but the adrenaline and sheer will to survive kept them going until they got to the lobby. Cartoon Cat leaped in front of them, blocking their exit. The duo stopped and tried to catch their breath, the entity once more looking at them, laughing while having a shoulder-to-shoulder -sh -shoulder smile on his face. The two decided that they would try to outsmart the creature, so they ran in opposite directions, hoping to get around the creature. Her cartoon cat shot both of his arms out towards them and began dragging them towards him. Alex and Lucy began to fight for their lives as they tried to wrestle the hands off of them. As they got closer and closer to the entity, Cartoon Cat's mouth began to open, revealing hundreds of shark-like teeth. Alex managed to maneuver himself in a way where he could use his legs to get the hand off of him, and just in the nick of time. As he got out of Cartoon Cat's grip, Lucy was hoisted into the air as the entity prepared to eat her. 
Alex, realizing there was nothing he could do, decided to use the opportunity to run. The last thing he saw was Lucy being lowered into Cartoon Cat's mouth with a resounding gulp. Alex managed to escape the mall but didn't stop running. He ran all the way home where he collapsed from the exhaustion. The only evidence that the event had occurred was a single photo of Cartoon Cat himself. Everyone who saw it said that it was photoshopped or fake. No one believed Alex. Every night he still hears the haunting laughter of the creature and those eyes staring into his soul as if he was taunting him about how helpless he was to save his friends. And that's it for today. This one was a bit longer, but this was a favorite character of mine, so I wanted to go all out. If you guys have a suggestion for our next video, leave a suggestion down in the comments and we'll see what we can do. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.